All right, everybody, here's the instructional video for how to mix up your Samoralin peptide, okay? So what you should have gotten in the mail from the pharmacy, um, if you have the version that needs to be reconstituted, is a box like this. And you're gonna go ahead and open the box. And inside it, you're gonna have a bottle of bacteriostatic water, okay? And you are also going to have the bottle of the actual peptide, okay? And so this is the actual Samoralin and it's a powder. And so we're gonna have to mix this together. Where some of the confusion comes into the place is people don't read the instructions uh, where it says mix with five milliliters of dilutant, okay? And they send a 30 milliliter bottle, of course. Okay, so that's super confusing. They try and draw this whole thing up. And so you should also get a syringe, okay? This is your mixing syringe. And then you should also have packs and needles as well, okay? So we use the 31 gauge, uh, five sixteenth needles with these, okay? So the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna go ahead and pop the cop, pop the taps, uh, the caps off of this, okay? And um, so you pop that off there. And you don't necessarily need to wipe these out with alcohol right out of the gate. Some people are like real OCD about it, but if the cap has been on there, it's already clean. So just don't touch the top. Go ahead and open your syringe, okay? This is a 10 milliliter syringe, okay? Or 12 milliliter. So if you just look really close, it goes up to the 12, okay? And then what we're gonna do is we're going to pull five, pull it back to the five for air, okay? And then we're gonna get our water and turn it upside down, take off the cap. We're gonna inject five milliliters of water and look at it, it just sort of pulls it right back on its own, okay? We'll get it to the five. That's what we want, okay? So we want right there to the five, you can see that. And then we're gonna get our bacteria, we're gonna get our Samoralin, okay? And we're just literally going to put the needle into the cork. And look, it just sucks it right in. It's like magic, okay? Gonna recap that. It's gonna be a little foamy. Just go ahead and swirl it around. Honestly, if you shake the bejesus out, it doesn't matter, but it's just gonna get air bubbles in it. But it'll the water just literally dissolves it into clear fluid, okay? So that's what you got there, okay? So the dosing can vary, okay? But we're gonna use the example for this one, which is gonna be 0.1 milliliter. So this is right on there in the box, 0.1 milliliter. More confusion comes into place with these syringes, okay? Because look at we have units on there. Get that in there, focus. A hundred units, because this is an insulin syringe, and in the world of insulin, we use units. But if you also look, this whole syringe is one milliliter, okay? So when we say 0.1 milliliter we're actually bringing it back, which is one-tenth of this whole milliliter, okay, to the 10, okay, so to the 10. If it's 0.15, we're coming back in between the 10 and the 20, okay? So that's what we're looking at. So the dose for this is gonna be 10. Okay. So I'm gonna go ahead and get the bottle. I like to turn it upside down And look at that, just pulled the syringe right out and then we're gonna go ahead and pull it back. A little dose there. Okay. All right. Okay, we got to the 10. All right, now, just roughly right around there. Now, if there's a little air bubble in there, I promise it's gonna be okay. It doesn't matter, okay? This is not going into a vein, and even people don't realize that in order to hurt somebody with a vein, you have to literally put a lot of air into an actual vein to actually cause a problem. But this actually isn't a bad deal because what happens is when we actually inject all of this, the little air bubble ends up being the last thing to go through the syringe, and it just stops in the needle anyway. So it's actually pushing the fluid that would be stuck in the needle into your body so you get the whole dose, okay? So at this point in time, we're ready to inject, okay? So we have 
Aaron here, happens to be one of the trainers here at Self Made here in Dallas. Uh, what do you do here? Uh, I'm an MMA coach. Okay. So I get jujitsu, wrestling, kickboxing, and MMA classes. Awesome, awesome. And uh, what's the name of your company? Uh, it's called Quintana Confident Fitness, so you're more than welcome to check us out if you're in the Dallas area. All right, excellent. All right, so this is going to be the example that we're going to use. So I want you to go just lift up your shirt. So what we have here is I just called this four quadrants, okay? We make the belly four different spots. Up and down through the belly button, side to side through the belly button. And I just rotate every time we do it, okay? So you can pick where you're gonna do it. And I'll just give you this. And then what you can do is you can use this alcohol swab, okay? And just put it where, roughly where you wanna do it, yep, okay? And you can let it dry if you want, but just go ahead and just put the needle straight in, bury it all the way. Just push it all the way in. Ooh. Push it in. Nope, nope. Just push the whole needle in. There you go. Oh, Good. Okay. Yep. And then go ahead and inject it in. All right. And that's literally all there is to it. Okay. Barely felt it. Yeah. Yeah. It's a tiny little needle. You hardly feel it. And so what I do with these, I mean, if you have a sharps container, you can put a sharps. Every state varies on what they want to do with these but i'll like throw these like in a water bottle thank you very much yeah. i'll throw these in a water bottle or something like that and cap them um and then just uh, take them to a safe facility or just throw them in the trash um some states they it's okay to just put these in the trash so um yeah so that's how we make our samorlin any questions let us know thank you very much